Today on Ballistic Barbecue, I'm going to be barbecuing a pork brisket. You heard me correctly, a pork brisket on the Yoder YS640S. Let's get going. So this cook is going to be a first for me. I am going to be smoking up a pork brisket and I've never seen, I've never cooked, I've never tasted pork brisket. And I can tell you this, I can't find them in any of the butcher shops around where I live. This was actually sent to me by Porter Road out of Nashville, Tennessee. Porter Road is an online butcher shop that delivers pretty much any cut you can imagine right to your door. All their beef's been dried for 14 days. They've got cuts of pork, lamb, chicken, you name it, including some very rare butcher cuts, like what I'm gonna be cooking up today. The thing I really like about Porter Road is you can order a la carte, so you're not trapped into having to buy these boxed package deals. You can mix and match the cuts you want, or again, order these rare butcher cuts, which is really cool. The meat comes to your door fresh. It's not frozen. You open the box and it's just like pulling it out of a really cold refrigerator, which is very, very cool. I'm not gonna take any credit for saying really cool as a planned joke. It just kind of popped out of my mouth that way. Right now, my viewers will get a 15% discount. Just click the link and the discount will automatically apply. And any order over $100, you'll get free shipping. Let's start cooking. So again, here is that pork brisket. This one weighs two pounds. And my understanding is, and I could be wrong, let me know below if I am, what I'm going to call the point is actually sourced from a portion of that picnic shoulder roast. And then what I'm calling the flat is part of the, the chest. So we're going to go ahead and rub. I'm leaving, this is a pretty thin fat cap here, and I'm just going to leave the fat on. I'm gonna apply some rub, and I'm using that Plowboy's Yardbird. This stuff is great on pork. I'm gonna go nice liberal application of this rub. Now sometimes, you know, I was doing my research on, on, these, on this cut, they'll come with the skin on, and Based on what I was reading, and it makes sense, I would highly recommend removing that skin because we're cooking this low and slow. And if you don't, you're going to end up with a, some really rubbery skin. All right, while the odor comes up the temp, I'm going to allow this pork brisket to sweat through the rub. I will meet you guys at the pit. So the odor's all preheated. I'm running it at 225 degrees Fahrenheit and we're burning black cherry pellets today. We're going fat cap down and I am going to be cooking it out on the upper shelf. I'm gonna probe so I have an idea of what temp we're at. So I have never cooked a pork brisket before, as I said, so I'm more or less figuring this out as I go. I did read a couple recipes online just to see how they were doing it, and there definitely was some variations. So my plan is to, to cook it very gently. I'm cooking again at 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, unwrapped right now, I may wrap it once that bark sets. My main goal is to just you know, it's a thin piece of meat is to keep it tender. I don't want to let it dry out. So I'll make a decision about wrapping it probably within two or three hours or so. And based on what I've seen, this is usually right around a three to four hour cook. So again, my main goal is to not dry this piece of meat out. We are at about three hours now. The temperature's at 170 degrees Fahrenheit internal on that brisket. And I've decided to wrap. We're going to wrap it right now. So you can see, I mean, I've got some bark forming and it has set. So like I said, this is the first time I've done one of these. I do not want it to... I don't want to screw it up. One of the common denominators that I've noticed with some of the other folks that cook these is they're going off of temperatures. And 170 seems to be that wrapping temperature of the folks that have wrapped. One thing that I will be doing differently that I didn't see anyone else do is I'm going to add a little liquid. I bought this at my store. It's a brisket and fajita sauce. It's 
It smells really good, but it's, you know, kind of a mop. I got what, Allegro, I guess, is the brand. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead, just add a little bit of this. Get it back on the pit. Now, I'm going to be monitoring the temperature. It seems like one of the common pulling temps is between 185 and 195. Like I said, it's at 170 right now. I will be checking tenderness. I don't want it to be like pulled pork. I want it to be slices like, like a brisket. I want to add too, I didn't mention this, uh, starting at the two hour mark, I started spritzing the outside of that pork brisket with just water, just to keep it moist, help develop the bark. Um, so I'm guessing an hour maybe left. You know, I'm new with this, so we're all, we're learning together. Anybody who has done these before, chime in. Let me know your experiences, but I'm excited about this. See you guys in a bit. Okay, we are at about four hours and 40 minutes, and we just hit 185 degrees. I'm pulling it. Now, the consensus on this cut is based on temperature between, like I said, around 175 to 190, 195, it'll be sliceable. And I'm not looking for pulled pork here. I'm not looking for shredded pork. I want it to be sliceable. So what I'm going to do is take this in the house. I'm gonna drain the liquid, kind of keep it loosely foiled and allow it to rest for about 30 minutes. We'll slice it and give it a try. It smells really good. I'm thinking it's gonna be good. And here we are, looking good, smelling good, and I don't know what to expect. I mean, it's going to be good. It smells too good not to taste good. My question is, again, being the first time I've cooked this, is this the temperature I'm going to stick with or the doneness I'm going to stick with? We'll find out. So the grain's running this way, cut across the grain. And here we are, sliced, plated, and looking good. Let's try this out. Compared to a beef brisket, it's not as bendy. Got a really nice smoke ring there. Looks really good. Now, this being said, I hope you can see it. Definitely juicy. I mean, a lot of juice coming out of this. See how tender it is. Oh. Surprisingly tender, actually. No, it, it wasn't bending as much as a beef brisket would, but this is a good tender bite. <laughs> no resistance at all. Mm. Like I said, it's not that complete bend that you want to see on a brisket, but for this, it's perfect. I actually like this way, way more than I was expecting to like this. It, I mean, there's a really nice smoky flavor to it, but the quality of this, of the pork itself, is very good. Again, very juicy, extremely tender. That nice kind of heritage pork flavor, that nice, really just rich porky flavor. This is really, really good. I will do it again. Again, I was, Worried about the temp, but I think 185, at least for this cook, was the way to go. I definitely am glad that I wrapped. I think that that's kind of a critical part to really preserve the juiciness of this. So I'll continue to wrap that 
fajita brisket mop that I poured in there it was a really good touch. When I opened it up and all the steam was coming up with that smell, wow, good stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you click the link down below. Again, 15% off your first order from Porter Road. Great, great company. Amazing products. Wait till you see what I have in store for you guys. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the red button. Hit the ring bell so you get notified. And make sure you thumb it up if you liked it. I hope you did. See you on the next video. Cheers.